Okay, everybody, <clears throat> we're here in the shop today. We're going to do a little grinding on the chains. Get them good and sharp. Weather's well, kind of shitty out right now, so we're uh, just doing some maintenance. Yeah, sure, buddy. Do some maintenance here. Clean up the salt a little bit, get over the air cleaners. Figure maybe we could talk about some uh, chainsaw chains today. And uh, <clears throat> right now I have a organ on it. It's the new organs. They are, depends on what batch you get, I guess. They are really, really, really good. Unless you have the bad batch. Then for some reason they want to kick them off the bar. And I don't understand why yet. I don't know if it's uh they're not pressing the links tight enough or what it is. But uh yeah, this one here is doing really well, but this is an old one. I wish I took this off of a saw I haven't used in a while. Which is uh 390 over there. I put the chain off of this one on it. And we're just gonna touch this up on the bench grinder. I uh, I found all my all my chains by hand, but after so many foulings, I like to go over them on the bench grinder to you know straighten them up a little bit. Doesn't matter who you are, no matter what, you're not gonna you're not gonna get your chains perfect the whole way through the chain. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm sure some people want to debate about that, but uh, it doesn't really matter how good you are. Eventually, you're going to you're gonna be a little bit out of line. You're going to take a little too hard of a swipe on one side versus the other. I mean, you can see this chain here. It's, I mean, my teeth are very, very close, but they're still not perfect. And they're not going to be, you know, human error. And this, this chain's actually pretty sharp right now. It's not, it's not bad, but uh, I was figured while I had some time, I'd go over it. So we will go over it. I also want to clean, clean up the saw a little bit. It's been so muddy and cold and you wear gloves and saws just get a little filthy, you know. This old girl over here, that's that's my little 345. That's, oh, I don't know, 16, 18 years old. Just my little little side-by-side -side saw, just to cut some trees off the trails and stuff. The old girl served its purpose, though, that's for sure. But anyhow... Yeah, while we're on the subject of chains, hey, hold on a second. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, just on my voucher. <laughs> yeah, put some 90 weight in the rear end, huh? Yeah, yeah, it just shut. Okay, well, while we're on the subject of chains, uh, sorry, my garage is a mess right now, but there's, uh, there's an old 272. It, it needs a new piston and rings. Uh, there's a 372. Here's my 390. I have two 461s, but they're both in the truck right now. But, uh, this here, this here's Old Faithful. Had her for a long time. She's been a really, really good saw. No complaints about it. Other than it, other than it being heavy, it's a really good saw. But, uh, I'm loving this 572, though. The 5 Series, I tell you what, they, uh, Husqvarna really has them dialed in. Yeah, they, uh, they know what they're doing with them. So anyhow, <clears throat> if you ask me, 
I would have to say that steel probably makes the best chain. Kind of kills me to say that a little bit. I mean, I own steel. I like steel. I mean, I'm naturally a diehard Husky fan, but I mean, steel just tend to hold up. And they're good saws. Uh, but yeah, steel makes probably the best chain in my opinion. Just my opinion. Uh, Husqvarna, I'm told that they make their own chain now. I actually just ordered one, uh, C83S. So we'll see how they hold up. Uh, I've always been a, f well, not always, but I've been a fan of the newer Oregon chains. Uh, I know Oregon used to make Husqvarna chains. I mean, I never thought they held up that great. Uh, I mean, I've tried, you name it, I've tried it. Uh, Carlton, they used, I mean, they're durable, but they suck. They don't cut. So, y'all yeah, keep you updated on the, uh, on the new Husqvarna chains. We'll see how they go. And, uh, this old girl, I haven't cleaned the air cleaner since I bought it. And, uh, let's see how she's looking. Kind of like the 462, they just don't tend to get a whole lot of, whole lot of sawdust in them. But some of them hemlock I've been cutting are dying and they're pretty dirty. So, but, uh, yeah, you can see there's a little bit. Nothing like a 461, I mean, my God. <clears throat> About every tank of gas, you have to tap out a 461's filter. Because they're pretty ridiculous. But then again, that's all lasts forever. So, you know, can't complain about that, I guess. But, uh, got a piece of sawdust down here in the fins. So, anyhow, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're, uh, Sharpening some chains up for the uh, wood processor, and uh, I get over the chain here for the for the saw. And that's about all we have going on today. It, uh, it's warming up a good bit, but uh, it's been pretty nasty. Which this whole winter's been nasty. It's just been mud and wet, and this is probably the first real snow we had this year so far. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyhow, I'll keep you updated on the chains and what I think of them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.